Hey, hi and good morning. Welcome to the very first episode of Barefoot Fishing. So we're here in um, Opeto Bay, we're heading out on the kayak. Gonna go have a look around, see what we can get. First we'll shoot out just out the front and um, try and catch some bait. Got a couple of bait there but yeah. See if we can't get some more. Right. Uh, we'll chat a bit more when we're out there. Okay. See you out. So, um, no, I don't have bare feet. Barefoot fishing is a reference to basic fishing. Any little, just fishing in general. Everyone can get out there and do it. I, today I'm kayaking, kayaking out of um, Opito Bay, uh, and just going to go enjoy myself, go hopefully get a, a few decent kawai and snapper, um, bang onto some of those, never know, I get lucky, get on kingy, but we'll see what happens. Um, First job of the day is to get out here and um, get some bait. I've got a little bit of bait and I've got soft baits as well. Uh, but I do want some more bait. So we're just shooting along looking for some sign for bait. Righto, sorry about the sun. Is what it is though. Try and make up for it with a fish, shall we? So, like I was saying, it's barefoot, called barefoot fishing because it's going to, to show that without thousands and thousands of dollars you can still get out there and do it. I'm out on my kayak. I I scored it for a hundred bucks off Facebook. It's not a great big flash Viking. Gets me around though. You know, a hundred bucks on the on the kayak. I spent a bit of money on it though, a little bit. Got a couple of um, I did get a couple of rod holders. Um, that's about it. I put them in myself wasn't too hard maybe all up 200 bucks and a cup cup you know those um, phew, the, the broom handle holders in the cupboard and shit those little they're little latchy things down here there were the this thing here a couple of those that, that that's up there and holding the paddle So for under 200 bucks, I got me a fishing kayak. And as long as you're not a dick about it, going out in stupid weather, just just be safe. Be be careful of the conditions. Um, what I'm going to be doing is like a lot of kayak fishing. I love kayak fishing. Um, all fishing, bit of rock hopping, bit of surf casting. 
fight fishing. Oh shit, you missed, you missed, you dickhead. That just tried to hammer my lure right next to the kayak. Um, where was I? Yeah, rock fishing, surf casting, boat fishing, do it all and, and it's, you know, on a, on a budget. Not going out on the $50,000 bloody Surtees or anything like that, using a bloody million dollar rod and reel combo, something like that. I got this. So this whole setup, this whole setup here, this rod and the reel. Look, look around. Look around. I got this, this stuff off Trade Me for under for under a hundred bucks um, this one behind me same under a hundred my setups are under a hundred bucks I did go did go all out one day and bought a Hyperloop at hunting and fishing that was 70 bucks it's a um, really really good actually really good uh, basic, basic reel from hunting and fishing in the bargain bin. So, you know, to be able to get out here and and get shit done without without having to forfeit an arm or a leg. That's what it's all about, man. Meanwhile, I'm catching bugger all. <coughs> like I said earlier, I've got, got a couple of kawaii off camera. Um, I might. So we'll just give this. Um, that doesn't help. Well, I've got um, kawaii blowing up all around me. Just trying to get a couple of those for a bit more bait. And I like eating them. Bloody nice fish. I think they are the most underrated fish. Bloody lovely. I mean, look at that meat. And I'm using this for bait. Look at it. Bloody amazing fish. Me and my partner like to prefer to eat kawaii instead of it doesn't matter if it's smoked or raw it's just a lovely fish I do enjoy it I do enjoy it right let's see what we can come up with Alright, we're on. Really want to show you the bend. Oh yeah. See what we have here. It's a nice snapper. It's a decent bloody snapper. There we go. That's nice. That is bloody nice.
And he just swallowed that whole and went. Bloody awesome. Okay, let's get this back out there. No pissing around. Bait's still there. Let's wham it out again. There we go. There we go. I have learnt the hard way to kill the fish before showing off. Ooh. There we go. There we go. There we have it. Nice snapper. Bloody good eat of that one. Haha. <laughs> so, get another one. Okay. We've um, slowed down a little bit, so I'm going to haul up and make a move. Yeah, go and try another spot. So, while we're moving, still got our little lure out. I'm going to troll that along, see if it comes up with anything. Yep, getting a bit bright. Thought I'd turn you around and show you how beautiful the water is today. It's an epic morning. Cold though. Things have gone a bit quiet so I thought I'd pull anchor and get into some soft baiting. So I've got this little bugger on. He looks good, doesn't he? Well, I'll give it a go. See what happens. Oh, got him! Holy shite! There's a bunch of rat kings down here. Nice. Very fun indeed. Wow. Nice little surprise there. Right, oh, look at that. Nice little ratty. We'll put him back. Right, that was fun. Let's see if there's any bigger ones.
Oh, he's on. He's on. Ah, oh, bugger. Another little rat. Another little rat. That nice little circular motion they do. Well, we've so I've paddled back to back across the channel, heading back in. Overall, it was a good day. It was a good day. Got a couple of fish. Got a couple of kawaii. A good, a good snapper. Ran into some little rat kingies that were a bit of fun. But um, yeah, I enjoyed it such a beautiful morning next time we'll get out and do it again thanks for watching if you enjoyed what you saw hook us up with a like if you like you can subscribe and catch us on the next um, next episode of barefoot fishing cheers